In question six, we're told that Boy saves some money over a period of 60 weeks. He saves 10p in week one, 15p in week two, 20p in week three, and so on until week 60. His weekly savings form an arithmetic sequence. In part eight, we're asked to find out how much he saves in week 15. The question carries two marks. We can use a sub n is equal to a, which is the first term, plus n minus one, multiplied by d, where d is the common difference. Collecting the information, we'll have a, n, and d. a is the first term, which is going to be 10. The number is going to be 15, and the common difference is going to be 5. We can see in week 1 it was 10, week 2 is 15, week 3 it was 20. Subbing this in, we can say now the 15th term, or what he saves in the 15th week, will be 10 plus n minus 1, which is going to be 14 lots of the common difference. So we can write this as 10 plus 70. So we can write now that this is either 80p or 0 0.80 pounds. Either way round, one of these answers for two marks is perfectly fine. In part B, we need to calculate the total amount he saves over the 60 week period. For this one, we're looking for a sum. So we can use the S of N is equal to N over two, two A plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. So collecting the information a, n and d, we have a which is the first term, 10, the number this time will be 60 and now the common difference again is 5. All we need to do is simply substitute these in. So we can say the sum of the first 60 terms will be equal to 60 over 2, we'll have 2 lots of 8 which is going to give me now 20 plus n minus 1, which is going to give me 59 lots of the common difference, which is going to be 5. At this stage, we can do lots of tidying up. We can say the sum of the first 60 terms will be 60 over 2, which is 30. We're going to have 20 plus. And then if I multiply 59 by 5, that's going to give me 295. So we end up now with the sum of the first 60 terms. Let's write this here. It's going to be now 30, and we're going to have 315. This will give me now S sub 60 is going to be 9, and then we're going to have 9,450. So we can either say that this is going to be £94.50, or we could say 9,450 pence. So that is the total he'll save in the first 60 weeks. We're now told the boy's sister also saves some money each week over a period of M weeks. She saves 10p in week one, 20p in week two, 30p in week three, and so on, so that her weekly savings form an arithmetic sequence. She saves a total of £63 in the M weeks. In part C for four marks, we need to show that M multiplied by the quantity M plus one is equal to 35 times by 36. So again, we're going to use the sum of n terms is equal to n over 2, we'll have 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. This is one approach that you could take. So if we go ahead and collect some information, a, n, d, and s. We can see now that the first term is going to be 10. We've got n is equal to m. The common difference is 10 in this case, so we can sub in 10, and we're told now that the sum is 63 pounds. I'm working in pence here, so I'm going to put 6,300. So we can go ahead and substitute this in. We can say now that 6,300 is equal to n over two. So we can write that this is m over two. We'll have two lots of a, which is going to be 20, plus n minus one. So this will be m minus one, multiplied now by the common difference of 10. Lots of different ways we can take it from here. I'm going to first divide both sides of the equation by 10. If I do that, I'll have on the left-hand side 630. I'll have m over 2. I will have 2 plus m minus 1. So all I've done here is simply now divided both sides of the equation by 10. Multiplying both sides by 2, we're going to have now 1260 will be equal to m. The bracket will simplify to give us now 
m plus 1. We can state now that 1260 is equal to 35 times by 36. Therefore, we can write this now as 20, or we could write 35 times by 36 is equal to m multiplied by m plus 1. So that's one particular way in which we could do that question. There are a few different approaches. In part D for one mark, it says, hence, write down the value of m. We can clearly see that that's going to be 35. So we write down that m is equal to 35 for one mark. So all parts of the questions done, as stated, lots of different approaches, but these ways will certainly give the full marks.